Hey everyone, um, I've gotten more questions about my treatise, so I just thought I would do a little video about it and how I do my injections. Um, the first thing is I have to test my blood sugar before and after, so I'm about to do my before. And here's my, um, what it's called. Uh, <laughs> one touch ultra millimeter. It's really small and it can be in a little case. Here's the um, test strips. The um, I don't know what this is called, but it holds the lancet and it shoots it out to prick your fingers and get the blood out. And then it has a little pouch for the extra lancets and the alcohol wipes and everything. So, um, get that out. I usually just leave the meter in the thing. And um, just slide it in, and that's how it turns on. You have to make sure it's it turns itself off though. So if you are like having trouble getting enough blood out of your finger and it turns off, you have to make sure you turn it back on because if the test strip isn't in there and it's not blinking like that, it'll error. And even if you take it out, put it back in. Um, it doesn't work. It has to be in there blinking and waste the strips. So that's really annoying. Alcohol <laughs> weight. I don't know which finger I want. Try and pick one that doesn't look too bruised or whatever. No, oh, that's good. Oh. Wait for it to dry because, um, Alcohol can make your blood sugar lower. <laughs> um, you just pull back this lever right here and it cocks it. Um, you don't always really notice that it works, but it does. And this is how you push the needle out. And I have it set on five because I mean, deeper I wasn't drying enough blood. And just, I don't know what it goes up to actually. No, it goes up to at least six because I don't really want it. Uh, and then you set it kind of on the side of your finger. I found that I had to go a little more to the middle or I don't ever get enough. Let's do that. I've been having trouble getting enough out. So it means I have to do it twice. And then I've got to get it, yep. So I was holding my hand down. So you just have to hold your hand down lower than your hurt. And they call it milking it, so you squeeze down. You don't want to pinch it or it'll restrict the blood flow. You're just like doing that down. The meter is still blinking, so I'm good there. And you just slide it against the strap. I didn't do a very good job of showing you. <laughs> you just make sure it fills up the entire strap. And I'm at 86. And I even just had, I actually was able to have something sugary just now. Um, so I'm bummed it's not higher, but it's going to have to do. Um, with my hair tree ties and dropping the blood sugars, it normally raises it, but of course I do the opposite. <laughs> um, it raised it once to 160. Um, told not to let it go over 140, but it came back down after an hour to the 90s, which is great. So, it's been dropping it into the 60s. So I'm just throwing her out on the trash. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, they tell you to check it. My, my specialist told me to check it an hour after. On the floor, they told me 15 minutes, but I went with what my specialist has been telling me, obviously. Um, so in an hour after I give myself the injection, I'll check it again. Stick everything back in there. Okay, now I'm going to be up tree tied. Is it syringe? Endostatin by Novartis, octreotide. 
Um, you have to keep it shielded from light because it's fussy. Like, I mean, it can be in the light, but you can't think the story in light. And it is in a little box. Um, and it's this file can be reused, which kind of freaked me out at first for my used to that. Um, it's good for 14 days, and this is really concentrated. I've never used this kind. It's um, uh, 0.25 mLs. I've only ever done 0.5 or 0.1. No, one, just one. So a whole syringe or half a syringe, in other words. You know, I'm only doing a fourth, which is lovely. <laughs> so much nicer. Um, so I'm a big fan of that. So I will clean the top of this really well. Because I have um, a central line, I'm just like extra careful about everything. I don't know what the risk is. I feel like I didn't clean this well enough or I got an infection from a shot or I don't I really don't know. I don't know if I even can. I'm assuming I can. <laughs> but and I just out of habit though, I always like clean everything really well. So I feel like I'm doing TPM and I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just trying out with something cute. And then second roll ish is everything. So I'm just letting that top dry while I take out my syringe. I always push the needle on because it likes to pop off. Because the whole thing can come off. Got the screw on tighter. I'm going here. Drop a whole bunch and flick it. It's easier to get all the air bubbles out and get more than you need. I'm going to do it twice because that, oops. There it goes. Oops, so that's going to go. I'm going to sit it there so it's still sterile. the spot on my leg that I want to do it. I'm letting it dry. You want to go on the side. Especially if you're really thin. So you can have more fatty tissue there. And once it's dry, you just want to grab, go straight in. be able to feel it, which is always really strange. And that's it. You know, normally I go a little higher, but you, know, you can spread it up and down. I wouldn't want to go any lower than that. It's about the extent of my thigh that I would want to go. So this I'll put in my sharps box. I'll be checking the sugar in about an hour, so it's 819 now. Normally I don't take this till 9 or 10, but I couldn't take my morning dose today because I couldn't get my sugars out of the 60s and 70s until I think it came up around 2. I mean, right, I come up soon, but I didn't really check it till 2. I checked it around 11 and then it still hadn't come up, so I gave up. <laughs> and um, I'm going to check it again around 2. So, um, and it came up to 98, so. Mm -hmm. Then it went back down, so I gave up this morning. I'm sorry, I'm not thinking very clearly. 
Um, it's harder when your sugar is done low, even if it comes back up, you just feel kind of out of it. Um, it's kind of the best type of team making a video. Anyway, I'm not so soon. Hopefully, we won't drop it this time. Another thing that I do is um, I take Zofran light with it. Um, I haven't taken it yet, I'll take it in a minute. Um, so, I'm going this and go out because I do not want to really throw up. <laughs> Because this makes me pretty nauseated sometimes. Um, the first few days are the worst. It's like usually the first five. And then it gets a lot better. So if you ever start this and you feel violently all like throwing up, don't worry because it gets better. And um, you won't stay that bad. At least it doesn't for me. I shouldn't say that for In fact, my doctor, my nurse practitioner even said for my doctor that I don't think she's even noticed that in other patients. Like maybe I'm kind of weird. Alright, I'm going to figure this out and I'll add at the end what my blood sugar was and then hopefully it doesn't drop or shoot because a couple times it stayed good. <laughs> Alright, bye everyone.